Hey, what's going on guys? Derek here. So check this out. So this is the second uh, in that series of just property tour videos. So this time we're looking at starter homes in Ferndale. I know right now there's not a ton of inventory on the market in Ferndale, but I found two that were pretty similar in terms of price and amenities and size and all that good stuff. So check these out. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. So I know it's hard to find anything under 200 in Ferndale. So I did my best. This one here is listed at 180,000. It's two bed, one bath, 772 square feet, built in 1922. We're right downtown uh, in Ferndale, just like a block from, from downtown, basically police stations right down there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. So this one is, uh, you know, been updated. Still needs a little bit of work, but uh, you know, it does have the, the nice hardwood floors. It's a two bedroom, so the, you know, the bedrooms aren't huge. This is, you know, pretty typical of a 1920s ranch in this part of Ferndale. So it kind of is what it is, but it's, uh, you know, the, the number one thing this one has going for it is that it is affordable. And yeah, just kind of let me know what you think about, uh, about this property here. Cause I know, you know, it's a, you know, probably not exactly what you think of when you are thinking homes in Ferndale, but as a starter home, there's really not a whole lot to, uh, you know that that you'll be able to get bigger than this or or more updated for the, for the price point so um again you know not a not a terrible property um for what it is it doesn't have a basement so this one is on a crawl they got a little bit of a, a tile issue that needs to be taken care of uh kitchen is tiny but it has been updated at some point this one it has a nice skylight at least and um I wasn't able to find the furnace in this one, so it's either in the attic or the crawl space. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably in the crawl space, but it does have a nice newer um, hot water heater as well. So, um, you know, decent sized yard. So pretty typical of, of this part of Ferndale. And this one does have this nice little deck. Like I know your pickings are kind of slim in this price point in Ferndale, but this one would fit the bill. And then on to our next house. This one is a little bit further northeast of that first house. It's all, this one's three bed, one bath, uh, 750 square feet. It's priced at 159.9. Uh, built in 1937. So it's a little bit uh, different construction than the first house. Roof's in good shape on this one. The siding looks all in decent shape. It does have a two car garage. So, you know, as we go through, the hardwood floor has been refinished on this one as well. And, uh, you know, it's uh, got a, a few updates as well. So this one, uh, the kitchen is kind of off to the uh, off to the right hand side here. You can see that you know subway tile cabinets are a little bit on the older side, but uh, all the appliances are included. Um, this one, you know, we got our first bedroom right here. It does have uh, newer vinyl windows, and you, know, you can see the the garage does need a little bit of work, but it's got a garage, so you know that'll work as well. But as we're going through the home, we're going to come back through the kitchen here. Now, I know not everybody likes having a bedroom right off the kitchen. So there's, you know, a little bit of functional obsolescence there. Um, bathroom needs a little bit of TLC, although that floor is kind of cool. And, um, you know, again, in this kind of price point in Ferndale, you're not going to get a huge house with huge bedrooms. But if you need a three bed in, in, in Ferndale and, uh, you know, in this price point, you're good to go. This one is Hazel Park Schools. That first one is Ferndale Schools, although it is Oakland County, so there is school of choice. And uh, again, if you guys don't mind, just let me know which uh, which one of these houses you think are the are the better value. And again, uh, washer dryer included. Uh, the electrical panel is tiny. There's a ton of room on there. I'm amazed that they got that whole house, and even though it's a small house, that they did it on six circuits. But uh, there you go. So thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Uh, put down in the comments which of those two properties you like the best, the first one or the second one. I'm kind of curious to see what people's thoughts are on that. And as always, if you want to check out those houses or anything else in Michigan, give me a call, 586-491-5622. Thanks so much guys, look forward to uh, talking to you soon, have a great one.